Today we're gonna learn how to build a small electric motor. Okay. So what you need first, uh, what you need, you need a magnet, a small magnet, like a a quarter, like a quarter size, uh, a magnet the size of a quarter coin, and. What you also need, you need a battery, small battery, like 1.5 volt battery. You need a wire, NML wire. I put it in ML. A wire that has a cover. You see, it has to have a cover. It's not a bare wire. It has a cover. And uh, what else you need? You need some platform, like a wooden platform, small one. So you take, you take one wire, okay, and this wire can be bare, and then you put some stand like this, like that. You can also use a safety, uh, you can use a paper clip. This be, the reason we have this V-shape here, because we're gonna put a wire to sit on inside that V-shape. And then we have another wire, like that. And this wire also has a stand like that. You can, you can use a paper clip, so you have a wire like this, and then you have the paper clips there. So the wire can sit there. Now this wire should be attached to some uh, platform. Let's see, we have some platform like this. This is a wooden platform. And these wires are attached to it. Now what you do, you need to bring some enamel wire, this one, a long one, and then you make loops like this. One, two, three, a bunch of loops, but not too many, because it becomes too many, they're gonna be heavy. Because you see this loop is gonna spin. And, and if it's too heavy, it will, you need more force to make it spin. Now remember, this wire here is covered with the film. Now, the wire is conductor, the current will go through here, inside, and will come out. But the, the, the surface of the wire, if you touch, you don't get electrocuted, because there is a film, uh, an insulator, that's covering that wire. Don't use a wire that has a plastic, that, don't use a wire that's covered with a plastic. It has this, it has to be an enamel wire, like a, they usually they look a gold or a copper, coppery look. Okay, so this is the current, goes here, come out there. Now this wire, uh, because it's covered, it's gonna, you're gonna make it sit here on these two stands. But these two stands here are bare, so these are not the, the kind of bare wire. Bare. Bare wires, which means they're conductors, so they're bare here too. Now, this wire, a current is gonna go through it, so it needs to, in this region here, in this region, you need to take off that film. You scrape it or you sand it down with the sandpaper. Just the bottom side like that. Sand it with the paper and sand it here with the paper. And then you put this loop here. So the loop will come down like that. And it's just sitting there. Now you see this bottom section here is because he sent it down, is a conductor. He's gonna conduct electricity. So if we send some current down this stand, current here, 
is gonna come up to the loop here and he's gonna go through this opening here where he's send it down and then we'll go around and then we'll come out and then come down so you need a source of current current for these two stands so what you do you attach these two stands to some battery so you have here like 1.5 volt battery or you can or a big battery so let's see this is plus this is minus so this is the battery now when you hook up this wire to the battery the current is gonna come out from the positive this is the current i and we'll go through like that we'll go through the loops and then it come out and then it comes down and then we'll go back to the battery so you have a current that goes like that now this current that's going through the loop it's gonna generate a magnetic field so you have this magnetic field here generated let me use a red color so this magnetic field will go through the loop like that so we have this B field here okay now if the loop is facing us the magnetic field will be the lines will be facing us like that if the is the if the loop is going like that the magnetic field will go down so depending on the orientation of the loop so this magnetic field rotates if the loop rotates the magnetic field rotates with it now for us to make this loop rotate we need a force the force is gonna come from the interaction of the magnetic field so this magnetic field need to interact with another magnetic field so you have that interaction and you have the push and then this loop will spin so you need to get a magnet and that magnet you put it here so this is the magnet this magnetic field this magnet here will generate its own B field let's say for example it's gonna generate some B field we call it B prime so now we have this magnetic field of the magnet which is this square here you're gonna give magnetic field B prime and then you have this B field that's coming from the current and coming through the loop it's going through the loop these two B fields will interact. When they interact, it's like, like you have north-south. So let's see if this is north and that's south. It's going to attract. If it's north-north, it's going to push. So you have attraction if this one spin. You have attraction and push, pull, push, pull. And this thing will start to spin. Now... The energy of the spinning, the energy that's actually the, the work, who is working is the battery. The battery is generating this current here that goes through here. And then we have these two interaction of magnetic field. Now, one thing you have to be careful. You have, if this wire here is bare, it doesn't have any NML, any film, or, and you put it here. The, then the loop, what will the loop do? It will oscillate. It won't go one direction because it gets pushed and pulled and then the thing will just keep going like that because you have, when the current goes one direction here, remember this one is gonna rotate. So it's gonna give a magnetic field that's going in certain direction and then so it's good to have send it down it's good if you have the wire send it down only at the bottom 
So when it pushes it, okay, let's see the magnetic field push this loop out like that. Now, when it comes down, it comes down due to gravity. And then it comes back because when this loop rotates and then this end here, this end, the inner mill or the covered end touches here, you have no current. So you want to have a current, half a loop, a current, the other half no current. Current, no current, current, no current. So when there is no current, when there is a current, there is a push. When there is no current, it says the gravity is bringing down, the loop down, bringing it, and then when the loop comes back down, then you have the connection. Here you have a connection, and then you have the push of the loop. And then we have a push because the current goes through, and then we have interaction with the two magnetic field. And then when it goes up, you don't have any force due to magnetic field because we don't have a current passing through here. So who's doing, when it goes up, it has come down due to gravity, swings down. And then when it swings, there in the swing, you have no connection. So it's coming down, swinging down, boom, it hits it again, and it keeps going back, it keeps going forward or backward. It has to go one direction not oscillate back and forth. So if it oscillates back and forth, you won't get the credits. If it goes one direction, you get the five points. Okay? So that's the, the motor, simple motor. So make sure that the motor, don't, don't come up with a different motor because there are different kinds of motors. You have to, the motor has to be in this fashion, this simple fashion, to get the credit. Okay? Good luck.